Welcome back to the John Mandola Show here on WILK. 1025 in the morning, continuing the conversation with the Spartans of Wyoming Valley West on the football field at uh, Heat Act Week. Wrapping up and getting to the, the real deal double sessions, quote unquote, coming. Uh, Coach Baranski, let's talk about the, the week ahead, what you guys have planned. And again, just one scrimmage the last uh, several years. It's, you know, you really got to hyper focus on a few things, I'm sure. It has uh, certainly turned up the intensity of what you need to do in the summer and during Heat Acclimation Week by only having one scrimmage. I mean, you get one test, you're trying to evaluate players, get different people time. And is your varsity team ready? You go into week one, and, and sometimes you have some question marks, and you're not sure. How do you even get that one scrimmage lined up? But you know, you're thinking, okay, well, we had two, and now we got to kind of make it this one, and we got to make it a good one. Where, you know, we don't want to play uh, the biggest team in the world. We don't want to play the the slowest dog. So you're kind of like, you gotta you gotta be ready to go. But you, the confidence with your team, it's it's a sensitive topic, I guess. It really is, and, and what we look for is, is a team that's going to be fundamentally sound. They're going to come out, they're going to run their offense, they're going to run their defense. We get to evaluate our players in, in some one-on-one situations, and uh, so that's really what we look for. Is uh, We're looking for a quality opponent that, that we know has, has a strong base offense and defense, and we'll be able to get some work in with them. Brandon Torado is with us, Coach. He's a senior. He's on the offensive and defensive lines. Uh, talk about uh, what you feel he needs to do this year or what he will do this year. Brandon Torado needs to lead the offensive line this year. He's played for three years. He's a weight room kid. He may, I, he may even live in the weight room, for as far as I know. His numbers are off the charts. He's, again, just like the uh, Dylan and Brandon, he is a high-character kid, and I uh, couldn't be prouder of him. All right, let's welcome in Brandon Torado here on the John Mandola Show. Uh, first thing that sticks out is that 3.9 grade point average. Brandon, talk about your work in the classroom. Uh, yeah, um, education is always first for me. Um, I usually study more often. But when you're not studying, you're in that weight room. <laughs> yeah. Where did where did the weight room kind of uh, part come from? Uh, did you Were you following another guy on the team? Is just something you kind of, somebody in the family inspired you to do? Or just something, you know, self-motivated on your own end? Well, yeah, it was more like self-motivated when I first got in there. And when I started playing football, uh, I started working out with Zach McDaniels. And that's how we just both pushed each other to our limits. You got a couple of siblings, so tell us about uh, what they're up to. Uh, my brother is um, going to King's College this year, so I'm proud of him. He got a scholarship there. Awesome. And my sister... She's living in Scranton right now and has a kid. All right. Good for her. Yeah. So you're an uncle. Yes. All right. Nice to hear. Well, uh, you like math in the classroom. Talk about uh, teacher, subject, uh, a particular area of math you like? Um, geometry is my favorite like math subject. Um, Mr. Cunningham did a really good job teaching, and he's a great person overall. All right. Shout out to Mr. Cunningham twice today. Yeah. Um, college football down the road, something you're thinking about? Yes, definitely. And how about role models in your life? Who uh, Who's pushing you along? Uh, my mom. Uh, as far as her uh, coming out to games, is she able to cheer you on there? Yes, every game. Awesome. All right. And uh, it, it, as far as this offensive line or defensive line this year, um, you feel like you are a leader or, or will be this year on the team? Yes, I feel like I will be this year. I'm going to try to be more vocal and help the younger guys out more. All right, Brandon, great to hear your story, and we wish you well. Thank you. Brandon Torado from Wyoming Valley West, Coach Baranski. Let's get to our next guy and tell us a little about Nathan Mooney. Uh, very important part of the team. He's our center. He's a returning starter. He comes from a football family. He, his, he had brothers that played in this program that were successful athletes, and uh, he's another one in the line. So uh, we expect a lot from him from that center position in controlling nose guards and uh, you know securing the football in the exchange with the quarterback. Uh, you know, we we, uh, we we can do that blindfolded at this point with shotgun and everything else because we really believe in Nate. All right. Let's welcome in Nathan Mooney here on the John and Dola Show. Uh, Nathan, uh, for you, talk about playing on that offensive line and playing the center position. Uh, you got to be pretty bright and be able to make some calls and, and help your line. So uh, talk about uh, knowing the scheme and knowing what to do up front. Uh, it took a little bit to catch on to what we were doing. It's fun because you're with your teammates. You, you, your teammate talked a little bit about uh, being around Brandon Torado and talked a little bit about what it's like having him near you and you knowing that he's a pretty strong kid. 
yeah, it's it's a good feeling having him on the side of our line. He's a big kid, and him helping out, kids are always going flying. You got a few siblings, uh, so tell us a little bit about uh, what they're all up to, and a uh, couple older and one younger, right? Yeah. So uh, Matthew, Nick, and Marissa. Yeah. Uh, Matthew, he went to Valley West just like me. He played football, and he's a bartender right now. And Nick, he goes to Bloomsburg University. He's going to be a junior. And Marissa, she's actually going to be in the high school this year. She's going to be a freshman. Any sports for Marissa? Yeah, she plays field hockey. All right, awesome. Well, hopefully she'll uh, be able to work that and maybe uh, get on uh, get on the line of uh, some of our local girls that do well with field hockey. You like science in the classroom, a 3.6 grade point average teacher or a particular area of science you like? Uh, I liked chemistry a lot, but I think my favorite teacher so far had to be Mr. Heffron in science. Great. He's just a great guy. Very good. How about uh, a role model or people at home that are cheering you on? I think probably has to be my brother. He really pushes me forward because he was just like me. He played all throughout varsity on on the Spartans, and he always gives me tips and keeps me moving along. All right, Nathan. Well, we hope you have a successful season, okay? Thank you, sir. All right, Nathan Mooney from Wyoming Valley West here on the John Mandola Show. One more student athlete to get to. Coach Baranski is going to tell us a little bit about Zach McDaniel. So, uh, Coach, fill us in on him. Uh, Zach's another uh, young man, high character kid, three-year starter. He's an outside linebacker for us, and he's a running back on offense. And, um, you know, it's a name that you're going to hear a little bit more this year with the ball in his hands, just like Brendan Woods. Um, and we're looking for big things. All right, great. Then Zach McDaniels, welcome into the show. And uh, you feel like you're ready to take that step this year and, and carry the ball a little more? Of course. I've been waiting for my moment. And uh, now that I'm a senior, I think I finally got that moment. How about the work ethic? How, how much hard work did you put in the offseason? Uh, every day, every day the weight room was open. You know, all the seniors, me, Brandon Toronto, Nathan Mooney, Brandon Woods, Dylan Estansky, we've all been down there every single day the weight room's been open. What is it about this team? Um, I don't want to say that nobody knows about, but do you feel like whether it's you guys have a bond or work ethic or you got to have a couple guys this year that, that might help this team this year? Yeah, I think our team bond and like chemistry we've had, we've all been friends for years now and like chemistry goes a long way in football. Knowing that that person's going to have your back is the best thing, knowing that. A couple brothers, Brandon and Kenny, uh, tell us about them. Uh, my older brother, Kenny, he's in uh, Navy right now, stationed in uh, Rhode Island. And my brother, Brandon, goes to Bloomsburg University. All right. Well, it sounds like both of them are doing well, that's for sure. Science uh, is one of your favorite subjects, a 3.9 grade point average. These Spartans are killing it in the classroom. Um, a favorite teacher, a favorite area of science? Uh, my favorite area of science is definitely physics. I like the way like things work, like move. It kind of ties in with football, like how what's the velocity of a football going at a certain speed or whatever. But my favorite teacher has to be uh, Mr. Hedis. All right, another uh, another name that we're throwing out there. All right, so good stuff. How about uh, as far as people back at home, who's uh, who's helping you out there? Uh, my mom's really been there, uh, pushing me. Uh, she's always on the side, and she's always in the stands during the football games, cheering me on. Well, glad to hear it. You keep up the good work, and we look forward to seeing you on the field. Thank you. Zach McDaniels, Coach Baranski, and the Wyoming Valley West Spartans. Great job today by these guys. They are real students. They're pretty good athletes, too, but uh, doing it in the classroom, that's what you want to hear. 1035 here at WILK, the Swearsville American Legion team. They're in Illinois, but we're going to chat with them coming up here. Let's head out now to our local State Farm Insurance agent, Matt Daly. Break like a good neighbor. Matt Daly in Kingston is there. We'll be back here on WILK.